Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sohan, and you are watching Technical Spark. Friends, in our Trellix Drive Encryption series, today we are going to learn queries and report. This is very important part, or let's say, you know, heart of the drive encryption. Because if your organization is very large, then it's very hard to track all the system whether it's working perfectly or there could be any issue. So all these things will get with the help of queries and reports. So without further ado, let's check out how exactly this thing can be work or we can analyze after this small intro video. Welcome back guys. Now let me just log in into the EPO console so that I can demonstrate the things to you and here we go. Guys very first thing, uh, let's you know explore the drive encryption default dashboard. So I haven't customized this, this is just a default one and as you could see here itself total version installed. So I this is just a you know test environment so I could only see single version but if you are you know uh, using tele drive encryption from very long time then you may be see here multiple versions. So the very first thing is you will have to make sure that all your Telix product are streamlined which means all products should be on same version because it, there is a chance that there could be vulnerabilities in the previous version okay so once you are on the latest version then you can say that yeah you are compliant in terms of bugs or vulnerabilities okay now the second thing encrypted disk status here it shows the how many disks are encrypted so i have just shown you one dry, uh, disk on my station or pc so that's the reason it's showing one volume server status so on my test environment i just have only c drive so that's the reason it's showing one but it could uh, you have two drives like c d then you today have shown the two so it also shows the encrypted and not encrypted so make sure that all disks are encrypted so that you can say that your data is protected and the type of encryption provider so we are using pc software that is you can view under the policy and if in case of any drive encryption you know get failed while uh, the activation then the exact reason you can able to find in this particular screen and accordingly you can follow the troubleshooting you no know, steps it's very easy guys you just have to click on that particular the error message and it will show how many systems are left or in your uh, exist in your environment which has those error and once you identify the you know troubleshooting way you can apply the same thing on other rest of the machines now let's go to the system tree guys as you could see here i just have one pc but yeah i'll recommend to add your drive encryption product also so whatever the product you are managing in your environment please add all the columns of those products to add columns you will have to go to the action then choose columns and here let's say i am selecting version okay then it's here drive encryption for windows let me put it to here then drive encryption agent for windows let's add that also and then go let me drag and drop this go also here okay so this is how you can customize your columns so as you could see all my products are on same version go drive encryption agent for windows and actual software so this is how you can customize your dashboard now let's go to the queries and reports under telex groups guys you will have to go to the drive encryption as well as go so there are certain i uh, you know uh, reports available undergo if there's any issue with any of the machine then you will see that okay there is some issue so right now all the devices are compliant so i don't have to worry about this so let me close this incompatible products so when the drive encryption runs on any of the machine before the activation it will show you if there is any incompatible products are available like uh, existing encryption tool like BitLocker or some other and there are sir, few more uh, you know the test reports are available like test failure, data center status likewise and the very important is drive encryption because here you will get information with different different errors if you remember that for errors I shown you on the dashboard you will have to refer that particular you know chart view but here also you will get all the information in very first reports you just have to click on run and if in case if you ever want to edit any of the dashboard then you will have to simply select that uh, report and then click choose duplicate and once you duplicate that particular report then you can do all your customization into the existing report okay similar way there are multiple uh, reports are available like product client events so if you want to you know check out how the exactly your client is behaving then you will have to just simply click on run and here it will uh, the, at the top you will see the very very older event okay when the my deploy the first event is my deployment is successful and here is the system name and if you just scroll down below 
then you will see the system boot time, logger event. So all the informations are available guys here. You just have to make a use of this. It's provide hell lot of information, but the people that don't know how to use it until and unless they stuck into the some kind of problem. So just use all the reports. Okay. And make use of them and uh, slowly slowly you know the way you practice you will become expert into this technology so hopefully guys now uh, you know I guess I have covered almost everything in Telix drive encryption because so far including this we have uploaded almost 14 to 15 videos and our next video will be the, the series 8 okay so make sure you are going to watch this video because uh, on that video I'm going to an announce some giveaway so I hope you have, in this video you have found some you know basic idea of queries and report as well as dashboard. If yes, please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Enjoy your day.